Hello Coyote Artists! Today we're looking at several different Hispanic artists because we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. Now today I have not one or two but six amazing artists for you to discover. On this page with all these numbers and shapes these are the pages for each artist. So you can click on one of these pages and you can actually jump to that artist page. So you don't have to do these in order. You can go from five to two, to three to four to six to one, or any order that you would like. So I'm just going to do a brief overview of each artist and introduce them to you. But let's get to know them. So first, I uh, picked Alejandro Obregón, and I picked him because he uses a lot, a lot of inspiration from nature, which is something that we talked about this week in his paintings. So, um, I hope that you will take the time and watch this video. It's about one of his paintings that is actually at the Dallas Museum of Art. So right in our neighborhood. And then if you would like to go back to the page with all the numbers, then right here is a go back button where you can kind of skip around if you would like. Or you can just go to the next artist who is Josefina Aguilar. Now she is a ceramist and she does these beautiful clay pieces. So um, there are little links inside this page where you can discover a little bit more maybe about um, the place where she's from or the Day of the Dead statues that she makes. Then I picked Juan Quesada Salado and he is a potter and there was actually a children's book that was written about the process he goes to, goes through to create his pottery. Remember, you can also hit the go back button if you want to skip around to all the different artists. Then I chose Elizabeth Catlett. And she is actually of Mexican and African, Amer uh, African American heritage. She is a wonderful sculptor, painter, and printmaker. Then I chose Jose Guadalupe Posada. And one of his images called La Calavera Katrina is a very popular image for the Day of the Dead, which is going to be right at the end of October and very early November. Last but not least, I chose Octavio Ocampo. He does these wonderful paintings, and there's usually an image hidden inside the painting. So, I think he will be a very fun artist for you to discover and see what images or what other uh, hidden pictures he has put into his paintings. But what I'm really excited about is your art and who inspires you. So for today, I would like you to create art inspired by one or some of the artists that you discover today. And I can't wait to see it. All right, have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.